If you've been following the Shoeseum, you're probably aware of the waffle prototype that I acquired from an Oregon utility man. This shoe was buried in Bill Bowerman's yard, and it's the sample prototype of the first waffle shoes that were ever made. And right up top over here is a pair of Oregon waffles from 1973. They're brand new in perfect condition. I picked them up on eBay for $1,700. The second high bidder was actually Nike, and I'm surprised that they didn't bid higher. I've also got this waffle iron right here. Come close, I want you to read what it says on here. It says, from waffle iron to world headquarters, grand opening, October 1990. And this is an actual waffle iron that plugs in and makes waffles. This was given out to the 200 top executives at Nike when the world headquarters was opened up in 1990. In my most recent visit to Nike World Headquarters, I got to see Nike's Holy Grail, the actual waffle iron that was buried alongside these waffle shoes. And it's the first waffle iron that Bill Bowerman used to use when he was making shoes like this in his house in a shed out back. I want to introduce you to the newest members of this vintage waffle family. And we're going to start right here with this book, The Waffle Story. I like to prop it up on display inside the waffle iron. This book was written by two Nike employees and it's a children's book about the waffle story, about Bill Bowerman looking at a waffle iron and deciding that he was gonna use it to make shoes. Actually, it says that the most amazing thing that a waffle iron ever did was something it was never supposed to do. And this book is supposed to inspire people to be creative and innovative. I wanna show you the next thing that I'm gonna to add to this collection. I'm really excited about it. It's right in here, it came from Nike. Last week I was messing around on Nike.com and I just typed in Nike waffle. I wanted to see what came up and I was so excited when I saw these. It's really dangerous when I'm on Nike.com or in Nike stores just kind of cruising around. I always find something that I fall in love with. Unfortunately, this time around, these items were 20 bucks each and I bought two of them. Let's check them out. Come on over here and have a look. They're amazing. Look at that iPhone 5 cases that are inspired by the waffle shoe. And when you look closely at it, it actually has the US patent number, which is the same patent number that's gonna be written on the sole of the shoe. Check that out right there, 3793750. And when you look at the phones, 3793750. So it's time to break my phone out of this janky case. I bought this case on eBay for a couple bucks. I'll never be using that again. It's time to replace it with the green one. I had to get the green and the black. I figured the green one would go well alongside these vintage Oregon waffles. And most waffle soles are black, so I got the black ones. They also have a blue one, and these things are $19.97, marked down from 35 bucks. I would have bought more, but you know the iPhone 6 is eventually gonna come out and then these things will be obsolete and worthless. But for now, boom, I'm styling with my iPhone and the case that resembles a waffle sole.